Ground ball to third. Pass to diving Elijah Burries in the left field for a base hit. It's a leadoff single in the second inning. From first base, Pena, the pitch. Strike three called, and Galloway knew it. Lines it over the outstretched glove of Burries down into the left field corner, rounding second and going to third and making it with a head first slide, going to second. And just beating the throw there is Hernandez. You feel like, what's going on? Where's yeah. the game? Fly ball to right. Kane Verdusco makes the catch, and the side is retired. Fly ball to left, and that one is on 35th Avenue. That ball is smoked out of here. And there's something about being in that nine hole. You see some good pitches. They want to get past you and move on. Well, Ryan Leary, has, he's seen enough, and that was a no-doubter off the bat. First run, Zach Thornton has given up all season. 3-1 pitch. Lined to right, base hit, over to cut it off, Verdusco, a skidding stop. He did a terrific job of keeping that to a single. But Shell throw back to first, and they got it. Even though the throw was on the foul territory side of the bag. So on Friday, they pick up a fourth one somewhere, ground ball to the right side. Zach Gregory throws it out. We'll, we'll expand on that schedule. Dug out, very vocal, swing and a miss. One, two, there's another strikeout. So firmly in control right now is Zeke Wood. Better strap it on for those. That place is crazy tight. Strike the swinging and Pena. Especially with the schedule that they have. Check the swing, did he go? Yeah, he went around, says. So we move forward in this season. Here's a dribbler back to the mound. Thornton throws in the dirt, and it's past Zach York. An error on the throw. And reaching first base safely on the error is Galloway. True, it's only been a short season, but swinging aggressively, and that was a, an aggressive swing, too, and a hard line out to center field. Get something started. Get on base any way you can. Kind of mix it up, make Wood work out of the stretch, something. Get him off of his 3-2 pitch. Swung on and missed, strike three. And I don't think they can call him out, but they may send him back to first for interference. This looks like it may have been the call on Wilson. We see the back swing. I don't think that got him. I think he just dropped it. Well, let's see that replay one more time, potentially. Now they're just calling him out. One swing away from tying this one. Ball four, second walk of the inning. One, two pitch coming up. He's hit to right center field, but it's at McLean, more or less, and Ben goes over to catch it for the first two thirds of the game. Lined to left, it's gonna get down. Played on a hop by Ann Deal. And again, another hard hit ball for Texas State, one out single. Firing on all cylinders, throw to first base. They have him picked and they have him out. One, three, six. Thornton to York to Wilson and the side is retired to York. Grounded to the left side and through for a base hit. You know, it looked to me like Zach just reached out and poked that thing right through the left hand side. And they had a bit of a shift on the pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Buckley down on strikes. Strikeouts for Wood. Total six. That one's whacked into the left field corner. It's a base hit, but only advancing to second base is Zach York. In the fifth, fly ball to left. Fading is Gonzalez, still going. Leaps, and he makes the catch. That's a nice play. Oof. Base hit. Leadoff single for Manning. He drives it into right. Yep. Got to be careful here. Two.
two-run bomb to right field from Jose Gonzalez. Well, we said no doubter from Ryan Leary's run in the third. That one blew that one out of the water. That one into the parking garage at least. And he could, all he could do was watch that one go way, way gone. That ball was absolutely crushed if you're ahead. Five to three. Right. You can give up those three and it doesn't look so dire. Foul tip caught by Buckley, side retired. Strikeout number eight. Ball four. Line drive, that's a base hit into left field, going to second base and stopping there. Something special here. Dribbled up along third base, it's sitting on the grass and it's gonna be a base hit. How about that bunt, Tim? Tonight, one, two. He's hitting to left, charging is Gonzalez and he makes the catch. 3-1 pitch, high ball four. Well, fourth inning in a row, leadoff runner gets aboard, and one of the ball is hit the first base and right through the legs of Dalen Pena, and by the time he scrambles after it, the pitch, strike, three called, three breaking balls, and Gregory goes down looking. One and two. Grounded to the right side. A diving stab by Pena. The throw to first is in time. It robs the Lopes of a run. And that's about as close to an intentional walk as you can get. They lost indoors in Minneapolis in the football dome. I saw a video of that upset. It did look a little weird playing baseball in that massive football stadium. It is massive. There's ball four. Can't be risky at times. Popped up, third base side, Burries makes the catch. Aboard each of those three times. And now the eighth. So four consecutive innings. A big out, well they don't get him. That's the third ball tonight that Bush has hit right on the money. That ball gets away from the center fielder and everybody moves up 90. That ball to the outfield at least. Ground ball to the right side. Hernandez makes the throw to first base. The Lopes are on the board, however, and it's now a two-run game. Full count pitch. Ball four. Good at bat for Elijah. Strike three called inside corner. Line down the right field line, it's in the corner, and it's gonna roll all the way to the fence. The Lopes get one, and the Lopes get two to tie it up. Wow. And Deal always pulling that ball down the left field line. He sees the off speed, throws the hands at it, gets it down the right field line, and we yell at it. we're at a tie ball game. Eighth inning magic, the Lopes have it. I don't know how to explain it, Tim. It's just been amazing. It's just uncanny what they've been doing. 3-2 pitch. Ball four. Jacob Wilson would love to bat, wouldn't he? He's next. He will, but the Lopes will be ahead. Zach Gregory drives in one, a misplay in center field, and the Lopes get two. We've been talking about lefty-lefty matchups all day. Texas State's been dialing them in, and they've won that all night. Zach Gregory finally gets the ball in play, and none bigger than this one. Rips one up the middle, and one an eighth inning for the Lopes. You gotta say, Swing and a miss. Strike three, and the inning is over. One-two pitch. Check swing, strike three. Never in doubt. By the Lopes. 
Strike three, goal. If Wild can get aboard. And he has. And pick up the W. Ball four. One, two. Bounce to the right side. Gregory to York, and the Lopes win. Well, it's become a habit. It sure has. GCU trails the entire way, and they win another one in their last at-bat. 